The first thing we do at CDO Gold before we agree to meet a gold seller in the Philippines is confirm that their gold is real. Now this particular seller actually sent us a video of themselves uh, going to the location of their gold and testing a sample of it. Most people send us a pictures of their items, but this particular person sent us videos. So as you can see, the video has been edited to protect the identity of the sellers that we're talking to. But it's also quite exciting to see uh, some of the neat places that they keep gold in the Philippines, which in this case is a cave. We look for several factors in gold bars to confirm that they're real. We look at the coloration, the dimpling, uh, markings. These bars do meet all the criteria to confirm that they are real gold. Um, this particular stack is actually over 1,800 gold bars, and the combined value of these bars is almost $1 billion US. So as you can see, uh, it's pretty beautiful looking at a big stack of gold like this. Once the pictures or video of some gold bars verify that they are real, the second thing that we verify to confirm that it's a high quality of gold are the dimensions of the item. Uh, that would be the top and bottom width, the top and bottom length, as well as the height of a gold bar. Once a seller uh, sends us those dimensions and the weight of an item, we can uh, perform a dimensional assay and find out uh, how, what quality of gold it is. Once it's a good quality, then we arrange a meeting with the sellers. Once we verify from the pictures and dimensions uh, that a gold bar is a good quality that we can buy, the next thing that we do is arrange to uh, purchase a sample of it and test that sample. Uh, usually someone will take the bar uh, that they have and cut it and uh, either send us a small sample in the mail, like you can see here, someone actually sent us a very small sample in the mail, uh, or they can bring it to us uh, in Manila, and we will test that item uh, in Manila at a secure location. Uh, we have very good procedures to arrange to meet people where it's safe for all of us uh, every step of the way. Actually, that process took us over two and a half years to develop, uh, consulting a lot of security people and import export uh, experts on how to do uh, all of our procedures in a safe way for everyone involved. So uh, I'll let you watch how we do some of the testing of items uh, to confirm that it's real uh, on the, in, once we actually have a real sample in our hands. Wait, we'll do 18K and 14K. Most buyers of gold in the Philippines only assay gold one or two ways before they purchase it. At CDO Gold, we actually have five different ways that we assay gold. Uh, this gives us a competitive advantage in that before we ever go to the refinery to make a purchase of gold from our sellers, we know the exact purity of their item uh, even before we write up a contract. This saves us a lot of time and helps us build a lot of trust with sellers um, that we can give them an official assay report before ever going to the refinery. And most other buyers do not have this capability. So uh, just enjoy watching uh, some of how we do an actual assay to determine the exact purity of it. Now as you can see, we only put cigarette ash on the 24K and on the sample that was sent to us. Um, if you look closely, there's been right here in the middle where I put the cigarette ash, a little fading on the item. The 24K is still fully intact. Um, so I'm going to jump up to the 18K now um, and use all four. We should see fading. Once we are done testing someone's gold with our five assay techniques and we confirm that it is real gold, we write up a contract and purchase the gold from them once we take it to one of our refineries in the Philippines. So there you have it. That's our complete process of measuring, testing, and buying gold in the Philippines. It's quite an adventure. We look forward to having you work with us. Take care.